Hi guys, uh, I'm here to talk about the Ricoh GR2, which is this camera. It's fairly an old camera, but the thing is, uh, I just got a hold of it and uh, I'm gonna give you my first impressions. This camera is stealthy, it's matte, it's nice on the hand, it's well built. When you turn it on, it's quick. And yeah, it's pocketable. You put it in your pocket and there's nothing protruding and it's really nice. It's really nice in the hand. If you're a street shooter, if you're a traveler, you wanna you bring a, a small camera wherein, wherein uh, when you take photos, people are not gonna like, ah, camera. But yeah, every time you bring this camera, people are gonna think that you're just somebody who, who's in a newbie or a trying hard person taking a photo. But this camera packs a punch uh, it's an APS-C sensor. It's a 2.8 lens. It's like a prime lens, uh, which is equivalent to 28 mil on a full frame sensor. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Uh, if you're used to the focusing, you can snap a photo within an instant on the instant on this camera. It has snap focus, where it uh, has a few meters. So when every time you shoot, it doesn't need to focus because it's it's fixed to that focus. And if you're good at it, you can you just snap and you get a good photo out of it but you get you need to get used to it uh fairly uh you can shoot this camera with one hand uh yeah, you can just go in the dials and shoot with one hand and yeah it's a really good camera though uh, they've released the version 3 just recently and the version 3 is really awesome also i've tried it in the store uh it's a bit smaller than this and uh, it's touch screen. So that camera is really good. But uh, yeah, this one's still good. Uh, I'm gonna compare this camera with the RX100, which is the one I have. So I have the Sony RX100 Mark V. Uh, the only thing I like about that camera compared to this is that that camera focuses so fast. It's snap focus. Like when you take a focus, just hits there. And uh, the shutter is like fast. Like when you're shooting at it, it's buffer is really fast. That's a newer camera and much more badass. But the thing is that camera has a one inch sensor compared to this, which has an APS-C sensor. The images of that camera is uh, very good. The dynamic range is very good. Uh, the what you call this the yeah the focusing and the dynamic range is good uh this camera here if you're shooting uh iso 6400 it, it breaks like you can see all the noise already but uh it's usable it you can get get away with it for you if you're uploading online putting it up on instagram facebook or anything but for big prints definitely you can see the noise so uh, what I like more about this camera compared to the RX100 is that the RX100 zooms out when you turn it on. So it takes some time for it to be ready. This one here is just snap quick. Look at that, it's snap quick. It's not that, uh, doesn't look quick on the camera, but uh, yeah, I've tried the GR3 also, it's, it's really quick. Uh, this one has an APS-C sensor, which is bigger. So the depth of field is different from that of the RX100. Uh, this one here is so stealthy. It's really tiny, it's pocketable. Like, it's really small. And yeah, so uh, that's just my first impressions. Uh, I'm gonna uh, try to do some more photos of this, test this more, and give you more feedback about the camera. If you're thinking of getting this camera, it's a really good camera. And it's, yeah, it is a good camera. That's it. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you more about it after in a few days when I'm trying this camera. This is just my first impressions of this fairly old camera for street photography. Yeah. By the way, I'm using the Tamron 28 right now, so you can see the background. It's not the same as the 24 mil that I have, which melts the background. You can see all of the rubbish behind me, but that's fine. Anyway, that's it.